welcome to the bookshop. Um, we have a fairly large selection of books, but we just opened, so we'll get more eventually. What sort of book are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we have a very large selection of Agatha Christie books. Um, um, let's see. So, this one is just, this one just has two in it right now. Uh, there was three, but I took that one. But you can buy it from me still. And um, here it is. So, it had Murder on the Orient Express, which I'm reading right now, as you can see. And it has beautiful bookmarks with it. They're all homemade, so, you know, they're one of a kind. <laughs> and oh, that book is for later. I know you can't see me because I put this in front of me, but don't worry. And these are the books that it comes with. Mm, the Murder of Roger Ackroyd. And, and then there was None by Agatha Christie. <laughs> Obviously. Did they already make a movie? Oh, now a major BBC series. I didn't know that. So. We have another one of these packs in the back. So, if you want, obviously, if you want one, I can, if you want this, I can go in the back and get you another one that has all the books in it. I think they're all to do with the main character. Hercules, whatever his last name is. I can't say his last name, so I'm not even going to try. So I'll put these back over there while we look at more books. Then we got even more Agatha Christie books. So these ones, as you can see, they haven't been opened. The other pack was connected to it, but see, it still has its plastic on it. It was like a stick out. So, let's open it up, maybe. Maybe. I might have to get some, oh, never mind. Whoopsies, that kind of hurt. So, I haven't read much Agatha Christie until now. So I'm trying to get into it more. You know, I'm trying to get into reading more. I've always liked reading, but I stopped for a while. You know, reading for fun. So. These are the books. This is for Agatha Christie's 125th anniversary. So. In order. This way. Top to bottom, or bottom to top of it. We have The Murder on the Links, The Mystery of the Blue Train, The Clocks, Death in the Clouds, Sad Cypress, I think, and Hickory Dickory Dock. So, this, oh, the other set. Uh, if you want all three of the books together in a set, it will be, let's say, $45. And if you want this set, it will be $63. Yes, we have very cheap prices here. Um, this is a bigger one. I'll just push it to the side. Then if you're looking for something historica, historica, <laughs> historical and a bit romantic, we have... I, Eliza Hamilton. I haven't started to read this book yet. Um, there are, hang on. Oh, there's an epilogue and a foreword. But there's 439 pages to read. Oh, well, 438. I didn't know the, I don't know. The last page just has a, uh, Something I don't know. Susan Holloway. Oh, the author said it. I didn't remember her name. 
but it is a romantic one and historical obviously it has to do with Elizabeth Hamilton the wife of Alexander Hamilton and um, I read reviews and it said it's very nice I hope it doesn't make me cry whenever I read it but this will cost you $15 uh, I think it just came out not too long ago. Hang on, I'll tell you. Whoops. Um, it came out... Well, it was copywritten in 2017. So it might have came out then. I don't know. It doesn't say. Unless it is 2017. But it is fairly new. Uh... It's $10 if you use the promo code um, SHREKFAN23 when you check it out. We have a little uh, computer, you just type it in there. You scan the books on the barcode right here. If you have that, there's a barcode on the bottom of it so you don't have to take books out one by one. Same with the other one. And you can type in the um, code. This one's the only one with the code right now. So you can get it for $10 if you remember the code SHRUKFAN. It feels really nice. Like the book itself, the cover, I don't know what it is, but it feels really nice. And the words on it, when you rub, rub your finger on it, they feel like lifted up. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I'll put that there. Oops, a piece of fuzz fell off me. And then we got a good old book here. Miss Per... I can't say her name. <laughs> you know, this one. Um, yeah, I've never read this one, as you can tell by me not being able to pronounce the name of it. I've seen the movie. Um, I'm not sure how true the movie stays to the books. And hopefully, I think there's two other books to this in the series, so hopefully they make, you know, the other two, and then I'll probably read it, but this book is kind of, oh, had a bookmark in it, well, I wonder who was reading it, but it has pictures of the children that are peculiar, there. like a, well, that's an animal, but there's some peculiar people. Um, oh my, I didn't see that photo, do you see his leg? You can't really see it, but his leg's all the way up here. That's crazy, but yes, um, I heard it's a good book. It's a good young adult's book, and I think it's a collectible, um, or not collectible, a, uh, I don't know, a newish one, because it has bonus features in this book, which is how you get the, um, the pictures in the back, and there's a Q&A with the author. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll put that up there. And then, our last two are good old classics, both of very different genres. So, this is a collectible, as said by Barnes & Noble's Dracula book. It has like a foam cover. And it feels really cool. And it comes with its own little bookmark. Don't worry, it wasn't in a page that, you know, was left read on, you know, that I left reading. It was just sitting in there. But listen to them. The Children of the Night. What music they make. That's what the back says. So this is a good old long book. Um... It has 399 pages of, let's see, I'll cover, 399, I didn't want you to read the ending, <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, this one, I don't remember if it said the price, will be 1099, I can give you a discount on that one too if you want, I'll just type it in. And this will cost $10, no tax, none of these have tax on it, but this one is really cool, 
And look how pretty they made the inside. Oops. I really like this book. I like the cover of it. It feels really nice. Super soft. So yeah. Yeah, my nose is a little stuffy, so I have to keep inhaling from my mouth, but I'm really trying not to. Um, I have a little sinus issue uh, that I need surgery to fix, but I don't really want to get surgery for it. So it makes it really hard to breathe out of my, uh, out of my nose. So I try to, I'm trying to breathe through my nose because I'm trying to train myself to, but it's really hard. Uh, so yeah, that's why I keep inhaling through my mouth, just so you know, I'm apparently a mouth breather. <laughs> Anyways, then our final book here is Lovely Peter Pan. Now, this is one of my favorite books. It is a children's book. It's kind of messed up for being a children's book, <laughs> if you read it. Um, but Peter Pan is one of my favorite movies and one of my favorite books. I remember watching Peter Pan when I was very little. I think it was one of the first Disney movies I actually ever saw, and I used to watch it basically every day. And this book is very good. It, you see that um, Peter, or yeah, Peter Pan, the movie, stayed fairly true to the book, except for obviously they had to dilute some things down and make it not as mm, scary, I suppose. So, there's Peter Pan, and I think that's Tinkerbell. Let me see. Oh, there's a bunch of fairies. Um, yeah. That is Tinkerbell, I believe. And on the back, <laughs> the back is funny. But there's Peter Pan, and I think that's John. <laughs> laying on the ground like Peter Pan murdered him. <laughs> um, but this book is a good one. It's a good old classic. I love it. All these books that I've read so far, I love. And they're all very different, obviously. I'm sorry. I had to adjust how I was thinking. You guys moved a little bit. Um, whoops. All these are very different. Agatha Christie is great if you like more whodunit, thrilling sort of books. Um, obviously, I, Eliza Hamilton is better for historical or romantic. It is in a diary format. So it makes it actually... I've read one page. I didn't read the whole thing. It makes it pretty cool to read. Um, hang on. Um, totally wearing pants that are not pajamas right now. Um, so, what books would you like? Yes, you can have. I'll go in the back and get you one with the other book in it. You would like. <sighs> Those were heavy. There's a bunch of books <laughs> piled up on this one. Do you want it with the wrapper on it, like I had? Because I can go in the back and get a different one. No? Okay. So, I will go, and I'll get you one from the back. And how much did I say these were? Oh, well. I don't remember, so I'll give you a discount. I'll say, how about all of them for $62? I know this one right here was 63. I don't remember how much I said this one was. Yeah, so you're getting a good deal. Maybe I should write down my price next time. Okay, I'll go get your books and we will return. And, you know, you can leave. <laughs> okay, bye.